used widely in flu research. Um, they are naturally susceptible to the same viruses as humans are. And that's really important because it means that they're a good animal model. We don't have to adapt the virus or change it in any way. You can take the same virus out of a person's nose that's making them sick and inoculate it into a ferret, and it will replicate in the ferret cells in the nose of the ferret. The virus is a tiny, fragile particle, really, that just contains its genome. Uh, and in order to infect a person, the virus needs to gain access uh, to the cells of the body, the upper respiratory tract, when it's replicated in that first person, in order to survive, really, the virus has to come out from that person and into the next. And for flu, um, that is usually through droplets that are breathed out into the air. At the moment, it's really difficult to recapitulate that experiment using cell cultures. Uh, you, you sort of really do need one animal to produce the virus and one animal to receive it if you're going to study the entire process. But we are working on uh, methods to break the process down and at least remove some of the animals. When we're going to infect ferrets with our known sample of influenza virus, we dilute the virus down and then we lightly anaesthetize the ferret and just place a small droplet of a solution containing the virus into their nose. If we use a reasonably low dose of virus, one that we think represents the type of dose you would get exposed to in natural exposure, the animals don't get very sick at all. So we're very interested in how transmission happens. We can see that transmission, at least in our ferrets, happens very early. We've shown that the, the timing of transmission absolutely correlates with the ability of the, the, the virus to come out into the air and float in the air for, for enough time to survive. We can infect one animal with a mixture of viruses that we can count very easily and then we can expose the next animal uh, to that infected animal and we can ask, does the whole mixture come across? And if it did, that would mean that a lot of viruses must move across. Incredibly, it looks as if only a handful of virus particles are enough to initiate infection in the next animal. Humans are protected from flu if they need to be protected from flu by using vaccines. All of those vaccines rely on ferrets, actually, for their generation. It's very interesting, but because we know that ferrets are susceptible to human viruses, they make antibodies after they've been infected with flu, and the serum that, that contains those antibodies is used uh, by the World Health Organization every year to try to predict whether or not we need to update the flu vaccine for the following year or not.